What's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing well besides Carol Baskin and the guy in my last video who told me that I talk too much. Besides them, I hope everybody else is doing wonderful. So I need to get on here for a few minutes and talk about something and this is in regards to the FG knot and why I will not be teaching the FG knot anytime soon. So I have gotten a couple requests to tie this knot and I started to tie the knot, I started to make videos on it and then about halfway through my videos I was like, you know, this is silly, this is pointless. Um, I think this knot is mainly for people to beat their chest over. And I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but it's like the same people who drive giant monster trucks. Besides that, um, <laughs> there's a few other reasons why I wouldn't tie the FG knot. Um, a, one of them being that it's really an offshore knot. It's meant, not meant for inshore fishing, like fluke fishing, um, black fishing or anything like that in shore. It's meant for when you're going tuna fishing or when you're going shark fishing maybe or when you're catching more pelagic species and you're going a lot further out and bigger fish essentially. Um, and besides that, it's be time consuming. So in regards to it being time consuming, I'll give you guys a couple examples. So say you're cod fishing, okay? And for those who haven't really ever been cod fishing, especially in the winter, when the sunrise comes on, the bite turns on instantly. It's like, it's like happy hour, okay? That's when that sunrise hits, the bite turns on and it's crazy sometimes. And sometimes it's all the fishing you're gonna get is when that sun rises and then it shuts off. So maybe you'll get an hour of really good fishing and then you're just picking away at them. So when that's, like I said, when that sun rises, you're very limited to time. So say you break off and that's very common when you're cod fishing because you're over wrecks or you're over rocks or you're on hard structure, you're on hard bottom. You could easily break off and that's fine. But what, when you want to tie your line back on, you're not going to want to waste your time tying a knot. You're going to want to get in there quick, especially, especially when you're in the winter and it's freezing cold out. No one's fingers are working fast. Your dexterity is not the same when you're freezing cold, okay? You want to be able to tie a knot that's quick and efficient. And the FG knot is just, it, yes, it's efficient, don't get me wrong, but it's not quick. So now A, you're limited to time, and B, it's not quick enough. So that doesn't, it's not a good, it's just not effective for getting down in the water quickly while you're fishing on on a time limit you're gonna spend 10 minutes tying a knot and even if you do get it even if you do master this knot and get it down quick you're still wasting time that could you could be in the water with or even for example when you're fluke fishing and you're going over a really good piece and you're drifting and say you might be drifting a little fast and you break off which is also very common especially like if you're going over reef fluke fishing you break off you get snagged once again you're not gonna waste your time tying this knot. You're going to do an Albright or a uni to uni. And I can assure you of that because when I work on boats and when I work as a mate, not any other mate is using this FG knot. We're using the knots that we've been taught by people who taught us from people who taught them 30 years ago, 40 years ago. So I learned from somebody who was, I think, 50 years old at the time when I learned these knots. So he learned from somebody else who was a lot older than him and who had more experience. So th these knots that I'm teaching you guys are... 80 years old some of them so why would I why go try to fix what's not broke you know it's kind of just I think it's a waste of time I think people beat their chest over this knot there's quicker knots and efficient knots and this is just not quick like I said it's meant for offshore fishing so don't sit here and get all stressed out about having to tie this knot because I, I see people like oh I, I I need to learn it you don't need to learn it I even like I said I was trying to do these videos the other day and I got frustrated. I was like, you know, this is so silly. Like I don't tie these and why would I go and teach you guys and waste your time? You know, if I'm not even wasting my time to do it. So I don't want to see you guys waste your time. And if you're offshore fishing, chances are you already know how to tie the FG knot, all right? And chances are, if you don't, the person you're going with most likely does. And if you don't, there's plenty other YouTube videos to go ahead and watch those. But I will not be tying this knot anytime soon. I'm sorry to anybody who did want me to tie it, but I just don't want to waste anybody's time. and I don't want to waste my time. So I hope you guys do understand. Um, I will be dropping a couple more videos. I'll be doing a dropper loop video next, and then I will be doing 
basically how to essentially what a rig's supposed to look like in the end. So besides that, I hope everybody else is doing great and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.